Hello students, welcome back to Physics Wala. So the most awaited video that is how to apply and when to apply, where to apply and what all things that to be taken care while applying for J Mains 2024 January attempt. Okay, people. So I think most of you are eagerly waiting for these updates and we are going to clear all your doubts before the registration begins so that you will be well prepared with all the documents and necessary things. Okay, the first, the website that we are going to look into is jmain.nta.nic.in, right? So this is the website where we need to go and register for J E Mains. And you know that the J E Mains is being conducted in two phases, phase one and phase two, phase one in uh, January to February and the second phase in April, right? So many of you are asking me that, sir, is two different registrations required for each attempt? No. People, once again, I'm clarifying you very, very openly that the registration details, whatever you're using for the first phase, the same will be used for the second phase. And that's the reason I'm saying you, the user ID or password or whatever you create, the profile you create for the, for the phase one should be clearly remembered for phase two because the same login details will be applicable for phase two registration. Okay. Right. So please write down those passwords or keep the password which you remember the most. All right. Okay. So once you open this website, you can see a register now for J mains or J mains 2024 registration opened something like that. Okay. So that will be opened very soon, very soon in sense, it may be in less than a week or maybe tomorrow or maybe two, three days, but it will be opened very soon because we are almost in the month of November and January is the examination dates. So only one month in between. So definitely the registrations will be opened very soon and closing date will also be mentioned at that time, maybe two weeks or three weeks or one month uh, before that, which we, I mean, we should. Uh, register and we should be ready for the examination. Okay. So next, so the January results will also be opened soon and those dates will also be informed later, not now. Okay. And similarly for phase two also, for phase two also, once the phase one results are out, the phase two registrations begins. So that time it is up to you whether you want to write the second attempt or skip the second attempt. So many of you are being confused with this like whether both the attempts are mandatory, no students. Okay. So phase, phase one and phase two, only one you can write, or if you're, if you're writing both, so the best out of these two will be taken as the final marks and from which your ranks will be announced. Okay. So score of both the attempts will be considered and the best out of that will be taken as your final marks from there, your ranks will be announced. So, to get the rank, to get the rank of JE mains, the phase one and phase two examination should be completed. The results or the score should be out and then only we will be getting our ranks. Okay. So most of them are being confused with that. They say, they think that after phase one, you'll be getting the rank. No, after January attempt, you'll only be getting the score based on the score. You should again write, or I mean, you need to decide whether you're writing phase two or not. And after phase two, you'll be getting your marks and then the rank combined rank based on the phase one, and phase two performance. Okay. Right. And after that, after that, you'll be having an option for JE advanced or directly counseling for JE mains. Okay. So, you know that only the top 20% or some criteria will be given to, for the students of JE mains to attend for JE advanced. I'm saying you again, students. Not everyone, not every student will be given a chance to chance to write J advanced. Okay. So that's the reason you should write your J mains perfectly. And J advanced is the only exam to get into IITs for BTEC. Okay. BTEC or uh, MTEC, I mean dual degree courses or whatever it is. But through J examination after mains. Only advanced examination ranks will be considered for IITJ entrance, okay, IIT college entrances, okay. Right. So the next one you need to take care of is age criteria for applying. 
people openly saying there is no age criteria for je mains as announced in the previous years 2022 2023 as well right so there is no age limit or age criteria but there are few more things that you need to consider okay so as per the last year's data i have just replicated that to this year but it may change so i'm keeping a star mark here okay so we will once again discuss this after the official not official notification comes okay so as per the last day last year data if you if you are considering for this year the students who are or passed class 12 in 2022 2023 or appearing in 2024 that means in the coming two three months okay only these students are applicable or eligible to write the JE mains once again that you should be in the class 12th in 2022 or 2023 or you have passed and you're writing in 2024 right so the students who has passed the class 12th before that will not be eligible to write JE mains okay so that is very very strict according to JE rules and list of qualifying examinations not just one or two people because now je is also open for worldwide okay so many country students are also writing je mains so that's the reason we have a lot of things that are considered as list of qualifying exams okay list of qualifying examinations so presently no need to uh, discuss on all this but for us it is simply 10 plus 2 right so we are in 11th or 12th so after qualifying 12th or after appearing for 12th and if you have, if you got your pass percentage right so then you can go and get admission into iit or nits right through je mains okay so a few other examinations that are being considered year of appearance in qualifying examination so as we discussed <coughs> that you should be in class 12 or past class 12 just two years back not more than that as we already discussed and i am telling you this again because it is a very very strict from je mains or uh, je uh, examination control board that the students who has passed class 12 three years before cannot or not eligible to write this and be very sure people every certificate will be cross-checked and now all of your data is also available online in DigiLocker as well so they have the access to see when you have applied for or when you have written your class 12th okay so that is a very strict thing that you need to take care of and you know there are a lot of reservations people so we have uh, OBC reservations okay and uh, SCA, SC and ST and EWS economically weaker section category right and we also have a PW persons with a disability right so all these reservations are very very helpful for the people who are writing in these categories okay so I mean uh, prepare well prepare well and the percentages of this I'm not going to discuss that but uh, whatever I want to say is whenever you uh, whenever you, I mean if you are belong to this category so definitely you should keep your hundred not hundred 200 300 percent of your efforts to get into ITs because you have a lot of scope for that okay and after that scribe so there are people who are uh, visually impaired or uh, who cannot see or uh, some kind of uh, problem or some accidents okay some problem some type of problem with the hand so that they, so uh, they cannot write the examination so for that je means board has also given the facility of a scribe scribe means the person who will be writing on our behalf who will be att attempting or clicking on the screen whatever it is on our behalf sitting beside us but that should be informed to je means board well in advance so that they will take care of all those things okay so that is a very good thing from je means and finally the, what are the required documents people so first of all we need a photo right photo in the sense i have seen few people giving some random photos people if you are giving a very uh, like um, uh, not informal photos some family functions photos or just random selfies and all people please be uh, cautious that your application might get rejected okay so that is very strict because photo is a very first thing that they see when you're writing the examination okay so and photo has some dimensions that it should be around 30 kb 40 kb so it will be mentioned in the application and uh, it will be according to some sizes 2.5 i mean 3.5 cross 4.5 
or three cross four, four cross three, something like that. So it will be well. Um, I mean, it will be given when you are applying for that. Okay. And if you are having any doubt, you can uh, ask any of your seniors help, or you can also Google how to you know, how to re how to uh, resize an image in Paint app. Okay. Paint is a very common app that you know. Okay. Or there are many websites that convert any given picture to the required dimensions. So you can directly upload there and download the required format. Okay. So a scanned copy of signature because signature you need to upload in the JE registration. Category certificates, like I said, if you are belonging to uh, OBC or SCST or uh, some cast or income, whatever certificates are required for your category. So all those are all those should be kept with you well in well in advance. Okay, don't rush after this starts after the registration starts. Okay, twelfth <coughs> marks list. If you have already qualified for class twelfth, and if you are in the droppers batch, what we say, right? If you are uh, I mean, taking some break and writing this. So definitely you should have your 12th marks list ready with you. So uh, you need to upload that. Okay. And ID card, ID card in sense, any of your uh, uh, like Aadhaar card or whatever it is. Uh, so that, that acts as a uh, proof that you are an Indian citizen or something like that. Okay. Right. And how to apply as we discussed earlier. So we'll be opening NTA website. I have given the link already. And uh, so we'll be clicking on the link that is register for J Mains 2024 and we'll be filling all the details. Right. So fill the application, upload photo and other documents as required. Choose exam city. Okay, people. So when you are applying, you 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 will also get a chance to choose your city of examination. That means where you need to write. Okay, you want to write in the areas that are near to your house, right? So accordingly, you can give your preferences. Three or four preferences can be given. With that, uh, they will be allotting. Okay, and the pay examination fee. So it will be around. Uh, 1000 rupees or 1500 uh, or uh, 750 or 500 depending on the category right so depending on the category this fees will be uh, will be changed for person to person so that you need to take care of again okay? so how many attempts that you can write people as of as of uh, previous years debt and all so you are allowed to write only two times right so if you are writing for the first time this year you will be allowed to write the consecutive uh, consecutive year the next that's it only two attempts but if there is any change that we will again go we will discuss that okay so how many times to need to register as i said you that you need to register only once for je uh, for je january attempt the same registration login or password details will be applicable for phase 2 registration also so no need to apply again for phase 2 during the month of uh, march or april okay and many of you have asked me what are the cutoff marks see students uh, Cutoff marks again depends on every year's paper uh, difficulty levels. And what I suggest is for 300 marks, if you are around 200 marks, let's say, okay, this is an approximate calculation. But if you are around at a score of 200, so you will be getting uh, nearly 98% cutoff or more than that, okay. So uh, a marks of 220 to 30, so that will give you almost 99 percentile. I'm not, a, I'm not saying about percentage. Okay, so it is about a percentile. Percentile is different from percentage. So please take care of that. Okay, and 200 means it's around 60 to 70 in every paper. That means around 20 to 30, 20 to 21, 22 questions in every paper. So if let's say you have 30 questions in a paper, maths, let's say, so scoring around, let's say 20 questions and 24 physics, 20 from chemistry. So you'll be around 60 and you know, and you know that 63s or 64s, whatever the pattern is, so you'll be near to 200, okay? And there are also subject-wise cutoffs, okay, that are being given by JE every year that varies from uh, de depending on the score of students. So that should also be taken very carefully because I saw many students who scored uh, like very good marks, very good marks in, let's say, mathematics and physics, but they couldn't score in chemistry and they couldn't cross at least the minimum cutoff criteria given for the subject. So in, in that case also, they lost their seats. Okay. So that is also very important thing that you need to take care of. Okay. So finally, what all I'm going, I'm going to say is all the best for your JE preparation. Don't panic. Be cool and give your best in January attempt itself so that you can concentrate on remaining things uh, post your board examinations. Okay. So both the attempts are very, very important. And out of those two, I say January attempt is more 
uh, more important than April attempt. Okay, so I wish you all the best. Do well for your JE examination. Thank you.